Hi, my name is Dean Wagner. I'm running the Nanners at the moment. I've been crab fishing since 2004. Could be multiple causes for trap loss. Um, a few of them would be uh, like big storms. You can move and shift your gear around. Um, also kelp, when the kelp dies off and is floating around the Hecate Straits, you can get tangled in your buoys and in the tide and wind with the kelp on your buoy, it'll drag your your gear uh, like away from your, your line. And also um, probably tangles with other people's gear, getting tangled up and getting chafes on your lines and not, not knowing that it's there and then having the line break. So we have a few techniques that we use to prevent gear loss and one of them would be like just paying attention to your crab monitor and if, if your string is showing less scans than the last time you hauled it, you go have a look for those missing buoys. Uh, another thing we do is really focus on gear maintenance. We'll pick a job every trip, change out old lines, change damaged buoys. Um, we'll be in contact with uh, partner boats and if we leave an area we'll let them know we're gone and if they see any of our gear then they can pick them up or notify us. And uh, in the winter we'll fish safe spots, we'll fish in the lee of the dominant storms and, uh, and we'll also fish in deeper water so the storms will have less effect on the gear. Paul Edwards, uh, president of Area A Crab Association, and uh, uh, fish crab in Hecate Strait since 1994. So we started uh, gear recovery in, uh, in, I think, 97, and it actually became a part of the charter in 2000. Ghost Gear Recovery was uh, started just to clean the grounds up um, so that we didn't uh, lose more gear to old gear. <laughs>